from Batman and Superman to Spider-Man and X-Men, a Minnesota comic book artist has drawn them all. As Maury Glover shows us in tonight's Maury Stories, Patrick Gleason is making a name for himself in comics and beyond. Patrick Gleason loves comic books. It's the idealized uh, boxes, human condition, hopefully. But he doesn't just collect tales of costume crusaders. I have no other skills, so this is this is it. <laughs> Batman was chasing him around. He creates them as well. I like having the freedom to do whatever I want to do. <laughs> Let me see here. You see, this 47-year-old father of five has a superpower of his own. It's really silent when I draw. I've been drawing my whole life, so um, it's just something that comes naturally, and, and I, I'm still trying to get better at it every day. <laughs> Gleason says growing up in Forest Lake, he couldn't afford to buy comic books, so he learned how to draw by reading comic strips in the newspapers like Calvin and Hobbes, Garfield, and The Far Side. It wasn't until he got a job at a comic book shop in Forest Lake that he discovered the world of superheroes. I really liked uh, G.I. Joe and Transformers. Once I discovered X-Men, it was just a, a snowball into Spider-Man, X-Force, and Batman, and everything else just opened up uh, before me. Gleason says he would go to local comic book conventions with a portfolio of his artwork to try to break into the business. These are the pages, my very first produced work. <laughs> His first gig was drawing an issue of X-Men Unlimited. Then he became the assistant to Minnesota-based comic book artist Doug Mankey. That eventually led to titles like Aquaman, Green Lantern Corps, and Batman and Robin. I remember the first time I saw my book published, and I went to Schinder's and I bought it. And because uh, I didn't know they would send you a free one, I just bought it. And I'm like, this is cool. Um, and, and that has never gone away. As well as writing and illustrating Superman, and more recently, Amazing Spider-Man, where he developed his own style of drawing the wall crawler out of spider webs for a cover that became an instant classic. I did that first cover, and it was Amazing Spider-Man issue 55, and it just blew up. What's even more amazing than Gleason's success is that he did it all living here in Minnesota, without having to move to New York or L.A. I grew up here in Minnesota and you know, exploring the woods and, and walking around and going up the North Shore and things like that. And I, I never w felt the desire to leave, um, not even in the winter. His work sometimes includes nods to his home state. Like this, this is my dad, I drew him in there, you know, as, as a police officer. This is actually my friend, Kyle. He's a deputy sheriff with Chisago. <laughs> And so I drew his cruiser, so 216, and that's him. And so I get bizarre lifting the cruiser up there. And his home life. My great-grandparents had a farm. This was their house. Like when Clark and Lois Kent and their son Jonathan move out of their farmhouse and back to Metropolis. When we moved from our house up in North Branch, my wife and I, everything was packed up, and the last thing she did was mop the floor. And I could see all these little footprints of my children from when they were toddlers, and I just watched her wipe them away, and I was like, it was heartbreaking. It was so, it was sad, you know, it was, a, it was an ending, and so, you know, when you're, when you're asked to write a story about Superman moving, and you're going, well, what's that gonna be about? You know, you pull these things from your own life sometimes, or at least I do. Gleason believes infusing these fictional tales with emotional truths has been one of the secrets to his success, and will keep him coming back to the drawing board over and over again. I just try and have as much fun as I possibly can because I only have a certain amount of, you know, drawings and stories in me, right? So I want to make them count and uh, hopefully, hopefully do a good job of, with what I'm, what I'm given. For Maury Stories, Maury Glover, Box 9. Wow, what a talent. And when you read those comic books, look for those little Minnesota and Gleason messages. Yes, the details, right? Mm -hmm. What a talent. I know, incredible. Just a great story.